Good morning, guys. Today's video was spurred by something I saw on the internet, so now I want to talk about it. The, my thesis is, if you can make $250,000 a year for 99% of Americans, that would be life-changing because 42% of Americans make 18,000, 75% of Americans make less than 60,000. So to move up to 250 would dramatically increase the health, the wealth, and the lifestyle of the average American. Now, here's something that I've seen quite a bit, what I call the billionaire lie. It was on the YouTubes and I was watching this interview and she went from waitress to billionaire. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, that ain't true. I in, in, intuitively knew it wasn't true. So I went ahead and I looked up the chick and she's doing something called It Cosmetics. Her name is Slima Kern or something like that. And I went ahead and I did a little fact finding and found out that she was worth $450 million which is a staggering amount of money. But why did the host, Tom Bayou, have to say she was a billionaire? Because essentially she sold her cosmetics company to L'Oreal for 1.2 billion. But once again, if she had a company worth that much, I guarantee you she had debt, and I guarantee you she had business partners and investors. And I just inherently knew that she didn't get that $1.2 billion check and put it in her pocket. I know that didn't happen. And I'm asking myself, why are so many people pushing the billionaire narrative? Uh, Kylie Jenner, they were saying she was a billionaire when she wasn't a billionaire. Um, is this girl power going to muck? Because let me tell you something, this chick is worth a lot of money, 450 million. If she blew a million a year, and she's 43 and she lived to be 100 years old, she would still have almost 400 million if she was blowing a mill a year, just off cash flow. So it's a lot of money. Why do we have this fascination with billionaires? Because the number of billionaires has actually dropped down. There are not more billionaires, there's actually less. There's actually less. And I just want you guys to understand that you don't have to become a billionaire to be rich and happy. And this is gonna sound kind of crazy. You don't have to become a millionaire to be rich and happy. No, you don't. If you go ahead and create a business that does 150 to 250 and you manage your money well, you're Gucci. You're Gucci. You're eating steak every night if you want. You're doing whatever you want. So here's my thesis. With the art of holding corporate citizen stuff, what I wanna do is help get as many people to that 250 mark which is really doable with a lot of businesses. A lot of businesses. Many, many, many businesses will get you there. And essentially, I want to change the narrative and to move away from this billionaire stuff and to move away from this millionaire stuff. Because on Instagram, there was recently a guy by the name of Hush Puppy who is indicted on charges for money laundering. He would show all of these pictures of him with his Rolls Royce, his sports cars, all of his high-end fashion labels, just pictures of him, 2.5 million followers, because he was showing this opulent life that was funded by crime. And a lot of people will still follow him because it's like, he's, he's rich for real. I don't care if he got his money illegal, he's still rich. And I want to change this narrative away from like the millionaire tag. When I was in the storage auction business, I was not a millionaire. I wasn't a millionaire. You know, we had years where we did a million gross revenue, but I was not a millionaire. And I had a business partner 
So I'm going to give you some income ranges. If you're currently making two to 3,000 and you go to 10,000, you will see your life change dramatically. And $10,000 a month is 120,000 a year. And if you're making like three to 5,000 and you go to 250, you will see a lot of change. Do you understand $250,000 a year is $20,000 per month? $20,000 per month. You can afford a mansion at $20,000 a month. Yes, you could. Because uh, a million dollar house, the house payment is going to be forty five to five thousand per month. So at a twenty thousand dollar income, you can pull that off. And essentially what I want to do is to really move away from the millionaire, the billionaire stuff, because it muddies the water. Because like I just like I said, when I, I just knew that when I would just do a little fact finding, I would find out this chick wasn't a billionaire. And essentially there's only like 2,100 billionaires. It used to be 2,500. So the number's gone down. And I don't have an, a fascination with Elon Musk. I mean, yeah, he created Tesla. He's had some really good businesses that he's done quite well. And, you know, bless him. But I don't obsess over Elon Musk. I don't obsess over Jeff Bezos. And there, there's this other thing that I really, really don't like. And this is for YouTube stuff. Millionaire morning habits. Like if you do X, Y, and Z as a morning habit, you're gonna become a millionaire. I'm gonna go ahead and make a strange comparison to that. On my channel, Disruptive uh, Mail, I had a video talking about, you know, semen retention. There, this, there, there's a whole category here on YouTube, semen retention. And I've noticed that a lot of the men who were talking about all of the benefits and amazing uh, attributes of semen retention, none of them were successful. I remember this one guy, he was in a studio apartment because his bed was in his living room, just going on and on and on about semen retention and how much mental clarity he had and all this other stuff. And I looked at these videos and none of these guys were successful. So I'm gonna make that same argument with the people who are talking about the millionaire morning habits. It isn't what you do in the morning that will make you a millionaire. It is how you run your business. Um, ben Mala, you know, life for sale. Ben Mala is obese, he's morbidly obese. He smokes, more than likely he probably drinks. He is not healthy. And I guarantee you, Ben Mala doesn't have any millionaire habits, but dude's worth like 250 million. How'd he get there? Cause he, he's in real estate, he knows his business. He, you know, so he's not practicing millionaire habits. And you know, like I'm in a position of transition because I'm looking at some of these video topics and stuff and I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't do that. Like I'm in a very strange, strange place because between the research my assistant's doing, between stuff I'm doing and looking at, I am very, very disenfranchised with a lot of the crap I see on YouTube because I know intuitively that this stuff is not gonna make you successful. It's just not. And what we're gonna talk about here at the Franchise Tag is things to make you successful, which will be things that you will have to do. But let's move away from becoming a billionaire. Wesley, billionaire version. I mean, I honestly, you know, I may get in trouble for saying this, but dude may not even be worth, may not even be a millionaire. Because I look at the flash, I look at the lifestyle, I don't see anything that indicates entrepreneur. That I'm doing these things to make money. I see him with his YouTube videos, his YouTube channel, talking about mind hacks and stuff. And I don't see anything actionable. I just don't. I mean, 
I would not be surprised at the end of the day it came out dude was only making six figures a year. I, would, I wouldn't be shocked at all because I don't see anything that says entrepreneur, building businesses. I see a lot of hype. I see a lot of flash and I don't see anything. I don't see any processes. I don't, I don't see any of that. And once again, you know, I'm not trying to be a hater, but I'm trying to speak openly and honestly to you guys about why we need to leave the I'm going to become a billionaire. Like take Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone ain't a billionaire. He lives like one. He has a private jet. He ain't a billionaire. And he is fantastically wealthy. I mean, seriously, you get to a $200, $200 million net worth. You can live like a billionaire because here, here's something. And this is something that I found with a lot of my entrepreneur friends that once they get to a certain level, they just kind of set. Cause I got a friend, he does about 10 million a year in his business. And he lives in a multi-million, like a two or three million dollar house. He drives a few fancy cars, but regardless of how much money he makes, he's just kind of like, you know, if he, you know, I asked him, I said, if you made like 30 million, how would your life change? He said it wouldn't. And that's one of the things that happens when you get to a certain point, regardless of how much money comes in, you Gucci, you good. And th this is one of the things, and this is like, I mean, seriously, if you had a net worth of 10 million, which is more money than 99% of America has, 10 million, you're good. You're good. You don't have to be a billionaire. You don't even have to be a millionaire to have a good, rich, and happy life. And I'm not trying to reduce or piss upon your aspirations. I'm just saying, do this, develop a service, develop a product and focus on the customer and the money will come. The money will come, not these mind hacks or all of these special programs or like click funnels has really created a lot of online millionaires selling some products that go through click funnels are really good. Some of them are just crap. And uh, yeah, just let's just go ahead and build our companies and build our wealth. And let's let this billionaire talk go to rest because we have a world population of seven point, probably seven billion people. And we only have 2,100 billionaires out of that. That is not even a percent. That is a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the world's population who are billionaires. It ain't even a full single percent. So that should tell you becoming a billionaire is really difficult, but the good news is you don't have to become one to be rich and happy. Cause I remember when I first got money, I did a few crackhead things went out and paid cash for a car, didn't pay my taxes. And at some point it kind of evened out and it settled down. But at that point for me, when life radically changed was my first 250 that year. Cause actually I made more than that that year. But when I hit 250, my life radically changed. It radically changed cause I could spend money, do things, and there was so much money coming in that money would accumulate and stack up before I could spend it at 250. Once again, if you don't have any crazy habits or drug habits or massive addictions, the average person will see. And here's the thing you get to 250 because of that uh, level of money, you can make investments and become a millionaire easily. Easily, I'm gonna give you the sauce, as they like to say. You get the 250, and then you live on. You you take a hundred and invest it. So that's gonna still leave you after taxes 70, 80 k. So you go ahead and invest a hundred thousand dollars for ten years. Actually, probably seven. 
probably seven and you'll be a millionaire. Seven, seven years, 100K, seven, that's 700,000 principal. And then, you know, if you're picking good stocks and stuff, boom, you're a millionaire. Of 250. So understand, and this is one of the reasons that I did Savage Finance to talk about the power of money, because I see a lot of internet-y type stuff just like this whole thing, like I, I just knew this chick wasn't a billionaire and she is fantastically wealthy. $450 million is a crazy amount of money. It's a lot of money. You don't have to hype up 200 million. You don't have to like, well, you're only making 200 million. You're not like a billionaire. Really? Really? So we're going to start having more conversations like this. You and I, we're going to be talking about uh, things that you should be focused on building your company, building your service and focusing on your customers. Cause I got to raise my customer service game up a few notches. I'm working on that and let's all grow wealthy together. Let's do that. And let's leave this billionaire talk alone. And the, the you know, it, it, it's just, you know, I do a little stunt. Okay, I, I, I'm guilty of that, but I'm not outrageous with it. I'm not like crazy with it because I understand that I need to get your attention before I can get your business because I have to get your attention to sell to you. And if you want to build a business and our target, I'm going to do a webinar on this. Our target is going to be 250 for the corporate citizens. Because that is game, that is life changing money. 250, 250K a year is life changing money in most places except New York and California. Nobody told you to move to California. You know, if you're in California, New York, you can leave. Um, but the other 48 states, 250 is good living. It's very good living. So if you want to become a member of the Art of Holding, which is the links below, the payment plan, let's talk about the payment plan. Uh, since Stripe closed the corporate uh, citizen account and they do stuff like that, you have to sign up for the payment plan through PayPal and give us 24 to 48 hours to add you into the portal. And what we're gonna do is once we add you to the portal, we're gonna give you access to the corporate citizen and we're gonna give you access to the savage financials because essentially that's where the money management courses are the credit course and all that other stuff so we're going to give you access to that as well because i'm going to build this thing out a little differently we're going to have different conversations and we're going to work on building real businesses not mind hacks not money schemes but real businesses products and services that make real money so hopefully you will join me on this journey I will see you guys in the next video.